Good afternoon, uh, Rector Piskorska, thank you very much for accepting our invitation. Uh, today I have a pleasure of meeting uh, Pro Professor Piskorska in her office and we will talk about her in South Sandy, about her process of creation. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for this kind invitation. Uh, it's been a pleasure to participate in uh, an incredible event which you created out of scratch, something which is unimaginary for normal human being. What you've achieved here is incredible. So please tell me, how do you do this? So, good, good, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, thank you very much uh, for these very warm uh, words directed to me. Uh, you know, it's my normal, usual work uh, because I'm responsible for international relations, international development of, uh, of the university. That's why uh, I didn't treat this event as an unusual uh, work. However, you know, uh, the Free C University Networks, Network Universities Network, was a very ambitious uh, task uh, faced to us. Um, first of all, because it was maybe not a dream, but a purpose of our president of our uh, country. Uh, Minister of Education and Science, who uh, initiated a uh, year ago during uh, the second uh, round of uh, self-government uh, Congress in Lublin, uh, discussion panel about the uh, network of free C universities. Uh, that's why we take, uh, we took this uh, this task uh, and uh, tried to organize, to invite uh, universities from uh, 12, uh, 11, because uh, I mean, of course, uh, Poland, uh, which is uh, includes uh, to, to, to this project, uh, to the participation of our network and, of course, uh, conference in assistance of, uh, of, uh, of uh, the network. There were big two days conference and I have great pleasure to invite as well Dr. Piotr Pietrzak to this conference into discussion panel about the cooperation with uh, European institutions and uh, uh, and generally about uh, what happens in uh, countries uh, like Bulgaria because uh, as a representative of the university in Bulgaria uh, Dr. Pietrzak knows better about specificity, about the conditions, about the needs of uh, Bulgarian education. But one, that's why I think that uh, our event was very creative, was very creative for, uh, first of all, networking, because idea of university network means that uh, one of uh, the most important priority uh, is uh, binding uh, with uh, many universities, uh, representatives of their universities, and of course between people, because as a scientist, because uh, you know uh, this uh, this project uh, is based on universities, uh, the high level institutions, uh, not think tanks, not uh, research centers, uh, but uh, but universities. That's why, from the perspective of scientists, I think it's very important to have this network, to have these uh, connections uh, between us in order to exchange. But when it comes to your questions, how we did it, <laughs> of course, there was a need to, uh, to find people to, to gather uh, 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 very... Um, a very active team, a very active team. Uh, I was the head of uh, this team because we applied um, for a ministerial project, uh, Doskonała Nauka Excellent Science. Uh, it was a project uh, who, of course, allowed us to finance uh, all uh, events, all um, uh, our uh, our conference, and of course, it allows uh, allowed us to invite, especially representatives of uh, of universities from uh, free C initiative countries. 
There were one year work uh, on the idea of the project, on uh, invitation, uh, the, the letter of understandings, the letter of in invitation of, um, uh, of uh, representatives of universities to, to find the elaborate or concept of the conference, because you know, today's conference uh, needs uh, very ambitious and very strict uh, thematic platforms, uh, which uh, were addressed to contemporary challenges in the world and uh, contemporary needs. Uh, of course, the most of them uh, was uh, addressed uh, to Mm, uh, military threats, uh, cyber security threats, geopolitical threats, but as well soft power, mm -hmm. uh, as a, this initi initiative as a soft power because we know that cooperation between people, some, uh, mm, uh, some uh, rooted in people's uh, willings, uh, mm -hmm. uh, cooperation, I think it's, it was and it is still the most important uh, element of our uh, network. Thank you very much for this comprehensive response. Uh, could you tell me, in respect of your uh, well, scientific interest about soft power, how do you think this initiative is a soft power or smart power initiative, or maybe hard, hard power? What do you think? Where are we heading to? I think that we, we should take into account all mentioned elements, uh, factors, You. Uh, you stressed uh, because first of all I think that uh, soft power is necessary in order to reach to people in order to uh, to collect people together uh, because everything is based in my opinion when it comes of my research interest uh, as, as you mentioned uh, everything is based on relations, on relations, on uh, uh, not on uh, force, because you know nobody is willing to to act when uh, when is forced by, uh, by 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 hard power to do something. Mm -hmm. It's not possible because it doesn't work. In fact, that's why when it comes to organizing these kind of events, uh, I think that soft power, so discussion, uh, disputes uh, and conversation, understanding between people that this kind of conference uh, and network is important, uh, it, is, it is basic, it is basic for this kind of uh, projects. However, however, uh, nowadays we need to go step uh, forward, step mm -hmm. forward because now it's time to elaborate institutions, structures, that means hard power elements in our idea. Mm -hmm. Because there is need some authorities, there is needs of head office in order mm -hmm. to uh, to manage, uh, to manage uh, what we would like to obtain uh, in our network, uh, the line, the branches, the discipline, uh, uh, which uh, would be the base of our cooperation. Thank you much for that. I'm mindful of the time limit, so my last question to you has to do with the situation in the East. Um, 2022, February 2022. I know that the university has been at the forefront of the helping of the Ukrainian refugees. Can you tell me about the experiences of you, uh, the academic staff, and everyone in Lublin? Because I've, I, I only hear good things. Yeah, we faced this challenge with threats from the East uh, because uh, we live uh, not far away from our eastern border, you know. Lublin is uh, cooperated with Ukraine and uh, we as a universities, because I mean gen in general universities in Lublin, there is five universities, uh, state universities in Lublin. But our university, I was uh, also the head of, uh, of a team, rescue team, we can say, uh, helping refugees in many ways. Uh, of course, we offered them uh, accommodation in our dormitories uh, in Stalowa Wola because it's not far away from uh, Podkarpackie Wojewódz, in Podkarpackie Wojewódzship, so very close uh, Ukrainian uh, border with Ukraine. Uh, 
uh, there were also some spiritual help and support for them because in our uh, church, academic church, there were um, a special uh, mass uh, for uh, Ukrainian people in uh, Ukrainian language. Of course, financial help because uh, we collected money during uh, cultural, cultural concerts, uh, events, uh, fests uh, organized by our students and we collected money from the tickets mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and sent and give uh, consular of Ukraine uh, in order to help to buy some, uh, some stuff, food for Ukrainian refugees. Uh, what else? Uh, our university offers as well uh, psychological, uh, psychological and uh, health uh, support of, of these people because they were, you know, everywhere where they, uh, th these students uh, need uh, this kind of uh, mental support. Uh, so we, uh, we tried to, we tried to, to, uh, uh, to offer them uh, this kind of help as well. Um, war in Ukraine was, um, you know, uh, we didn't expect uh, the so so high uh, so high uh, outbreak of uh, of of threats, uh, which was directed to to to, to country like Poland. Uh, to students because uh, in usual life uh, it's very important to live in a very safe uh, and stable country for young people is necessary that's why we try to uh, we tried to help them uh, how we uh, could uh, but we continue we 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 still continue this uh, this support uh, because the, there were many students from ukraine in our country not uh, just after 24th of february 2022 but before this date we were students from Ukraine, it was about 500 students from Eastern, not only Ukraine, but in general Eastern European countries. After the 22nd of February, there were just 10 students applied, but there were English-speaking students because we don't have uh, program uh, in Ukrainian uh, language. That's why we are still ready to, to, to support and to help these people. And we wish, of course, Ukrainian people, Ukrainian students uh, to come back to regular uh, life, to normal time, to soft power time, not hard power. Because when you asked me about what is important, I think that smart power is necessary so it's a combination of these two parts of power so thank you very much once again for this question and for your visit and that you have uh, that we are having you in our conference professor piskowska it's a true uh, real pleasure to be here i hope that our academic uh, collaboration will flourish in the decades to come and i hope that uh, sofia university will soon um, sign the Erasmus collaboration between our universities and that will move it to a different level of collaboration. So We uh, will do it definitely. And, uh, <laughs> it's my me, next purpose. <laughs> let me thank you on behalf of the academic community of uh, Bulgaria for your eager help to Ukrainian people. We look up to you. Thank you very much. I'm sending greetings uh, for all uh, Bulgarian people, especially Bulgarian students and Bulgarian authorities. B authorities generally university, your university authorities, and very, very warmly. Uh, please feel welcome to join our free C initiative network because uh, you are a very valuable partner. I think that we will find some way in order to co cooperate in uh, the best way we can. Thank you, Thank very, you much. very much. Have a lovely day and see you soon. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you.